Hey guys, what is going on? This is Crowbar, and we are back with the Arizona Diamondbacks franchise here on MLB 15. And we are mid-July now in an interleague matchup taking on the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim at Chase Field. And this game is pretty big game for the Diamondbacks. They are getting the return of their youngster, Patrick Corbin, who says sidelined half of this season, all of last season with Tommy John surgery. A huge return for him in the organization as hopefully they can pull off a win against the Angels. Taking a look at their lineup, a struggling Mike Trout, to say the least, 277. That's pretty much struggling for him. David Freeze hitting 305, and they got their rookie Carlos Perez catching. And like I said, on the mound is Patty Corbin, 6'2", 25 years old. Still got a lot of his career to go um, after Tommy John, and he should be really set to go after that. Uh, not too many guys are... He didn't really have any problems after Tommy John, so we're going to see how we can bounce back. But the first batter he's facing is Eric Ibar, 2-2 count to him, and he's going to have to ground out softly to Pacheco. Jordan Pacheco going to throw on to first, and that will be the first batter retired as now later in the inning, two away for Mike Trout. Here is the 0-2 count from Patty Corbin, and Corbin is going to get him to ground to Pacheco as well. Pacheco throws on to first. And the Angels go 1-2-3, so Patty Corbin gets a 1-2-3 inning in his return. So now taking a look at the Dimebacks lineup. A.J. Pollock not in the lineup as Aaron Hill will be batting second. And Dern Ciarte playing center field. Uh, he has many Tomas not going to be playing third base. Jordan Pacheco will be playing in his spot at third and batting eighth. On the mound for the Angels, former Miami Marlin acquired in the trade this year. Uh, five foot, five, uh, 501 record Andrew Heaney, left-hander. 3.07 ERA, making his ninth appearance of the season. First batter he's facing, second pitch, Aaron Hill. And Hill is going to take this one over to the shortstop, Ibar's head. Mike Trout can have a little bit of trouble in center field. Going to second is Hill. And Hill will slide head first into second base as he's got to run in scoring position. Dimebacks starting the score now. Mike Mark Trumbo up 1-0 count. Here's the pitch from Heaney. And this one is hit a mile. It is high. It is far. It is gone off the foul pole. It is a Trum bomb for Trumbo as the Diamondbacks take a 2 to nothing lead over the Angels. We move ahead, top of the second inning to Cole Calhoun. And Calhoun is going to smoke this one to right field towards the pool. And Trumbo is going to have trouble with it as he will not be able to make the leap and catch. Going to third is Calhoun. And he's going to put on the brakes at third as that will be a triple to start off the inning. As now we move on to two count. This one's to Johnny Givatella, and Givatella is going to end up striking out with the runner at third, so that gets them two away. So two outs now. Colin Calgill up, and Calgill is going to single this one into left field. This one goes all the way to the wall. That brings in the runner as the Angels are going to cut this a 2-1 to one game. Runner going to second base, and I'll put another runner in scoring position for Mike Trout. Last year's MVP, and Trout is going to show why he got that honor High and deep and towards the pool, gone. That'll be a splash hit as that'll be another home run for Trout. That gives the Angels a lead, a 3-2 to two lead. Or correction, sorry, that was a 2-2 two to two game now. 1-1 one, one count, Tuffy go switch up, and he's going to single this one into the 5-6 hole as that puts two men on for the Dimebacks trying to get their lead back. So now Nick Ahmed up. He's got no no count on him, and Ahmed is going to ground this one to third. The throw from Freeze on to second is in time as the Angels do get out of the inning. So flashing head now to the top of the fifth inning. The pitch from Corbin to Perez, and this one's going to go all the way to the right field wall. This one would go for his first major league hit. Going to be trouble in center field by Inciarte. He's going the third. The throw to third is not being any time as that is going to be a triple in his first base hit. As now 2-1 count to Andrew Heaney. Heaney trying to help himself out. And he's going to drive in the go-ahead run into left field. As that's going to make it a 3-2 game off the bat of Andrew Heaney. And now Mike Trout up top of the 6. 3-2 count. And Trout's going to hit another one to left field. Back on the left field. Or he looks up and it is out of here. Trout's second home run of the game. Heating up this game. As that would be his third home run of the series. And that's going to extend the lead even more. So now he has Mari Tomas coming in to pinch hit for Jordan Pacheco, who is over 3 in the game. Tomas hitting about 270 on the season. 0-1 count to him as the T is a tying run. And Tomas is going to ground this one softly 
fielded by Heaney. He's, Heaney's going to throw it on, and he is safe. So that's going to put two men on as now the time runs out first. So Sosha is going to come out. He's going to end up pulling Heaney with the time run at first base. So Heaney still in line for the win as he went a solid a few innings as now Joe Smith coming into the game. 25th game of the season with a .70-90 ERA, enjoying himself a great uh, year out of the bullpen. So now A.J. Pollock coming in to pinch hit for Patty Corbin. Now Bob the 7th, 3-2 count, and he is going to end up walking. So the bases are loaded. Pollock represents the go-ahead run, and he is at first base now. Aaron Hill, now he's got a full count on him as well, and he's going to ground this one to short. Ibar going to throw it on to first. Hill's going to try and slide into first base, but it'll be in time. So the Angels escape danger. Now Albert Pools up top of the eighth inning. 4-2 game with three, two runners on, and he is going to take this one to left field, and they are not going to bring this one back. That is a home run. Going to be 7-2. to two. Runs on the corners once again. Perez, deep drive, corner. It's going to go right by the bullpen, and he's going to have problems in the left field as he's going to try and jump, and he slams into the wall. In Ciarte coming all the way over from center field, and that will be another triple as now C.J. Cron is going to come into the game as a pinch hitter with a runner on third base trying to extend the lead even more. Allen Webster coming in to face Cron. 9-2 game, top of the 8th, and Cron is going to hit this one to third base, fielded by Tomas. Tomas is going to throw on the run, and it's not going to be fielded cleanly as that will be a bad throw, and it'll make it 10-2. 1-2 count to Eric Ibar, and he is going to strike out, so the Diamondbacks finally get out of this inning. That completely opened the game widely. As now Trumbo is going to come up in the bottom of the eighth as he's going to try and get these runners back. He's going to hit this one into the corner. Runner coming home. That one will be not in time. So Mark Trumbo going to get his third RBI of the day. Driving in Paul Goldschmidt. Now Nick Ahmed runners on the corners. 1-1 one, one count to him. And Ahmed's going to saw his bat in half. This one's going to be fielded. Thrown onto first in time as they get out of the eighth inning. So now Fernando Salas. Going to come in for his 30th appearance of the season, trying to shut down the Diamondbacks. 2-2 count to Aaron Hill, and Aaron Hill goes down swinging, and that is the ball game. Angels end up winning by a final score of 10-3. Just outmatched this game completely. Some defensive miscues that probably could have saved the game, but overall a rough game again for the Diamondbacks as they are going to fall once again but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed it give it a like leave some comments if you guys have any suggestions please leave them down below once again the final score is uh, angels 10 and Diamondbacks three talk to you guys later come on baby let me take you on a night ride windows down sitting on my side tick tock now we're knocking